Let's add custom armor to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found some back in Teledons 1 and in this tutorial, we'll be adding a custom armor set, including making it trimmable to our Minecraft mod over here. And that is going to be very, very interesting indeed. So for custom armor, we of course well, need to register the custom armor. However, we also need a custom armor material and that is the first step. So in our item package, we're going to right click new Java class put the mod armor materials class. There we go. And this is going to look, I mean, honestly, not too bad. First of all, we'll need a helper method for this and that's a public static. And this is going to return a registry entry of type armor material. I'm going to call this the register armor material. That's just going to help us a little bit over here. It's going to have a string name parameter as well as a supplier of a armor material. Armor material. There you go. I'll call this the material. Material. And then inside of the method, we're going to return registry, making sure we choose net Minecraft registry. Very important. And then we want to register a reference. Also quite important. Register reference. Passing in registries dot armor material. And then an identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod ID passing in the name and as a second parameter material dot get. Of course, all of the code is also available down below in the description in the GitHub repository. And then we can actually register the proper armor material. So this is a public static final registry entry of type armor material. I'm going to call this the pink underscore garnet underscore armor underscore material. There we go. Equal to the register armor material method. The name here is going to be pink underscore garnet. And then the second parameter is a supplier of a new armor material. And now it gets very interesting. So you can see we have to add quite a few things right here, which is going to be very interesting indeed. We're going to start with util dot and we're going to make a new enum map. This enum map inside of the parentheses is going to get armor item dot type dot class. Then after the first closing parenthesis, We'll then do a map and this is basically sort of a supplier, but it actually has a map in here. And we then also need to put in curly brackets inside of those curly brackets. We can then do map dot put and then we can start typing boots and we can see it's going to be a two. We're going to duplicate this three or four times actually. So we're going to have five of them in total. We then leggings is going to be four. I'll explain what this is in just a second. Let's just write this all out and then we'll see. And I'm going to have a chest plate for six. I'm going to do helmet for a two. That's going to be fine. And then body is going to be a four over here. That's good. And then after the second or after the first closing parentheses right here, we then have a 20. We're then going to put in sound events dot. Let's do an item underscore armor equip. Let's do diamond. That's fine. And then a supplier of an ingredient ingredient dot of items mod items dot pink garnet. And after the first closing parenthesis, we then need a list dot of, and this list dot of is going to be of new armor material, armor material dot layer passing in an identifier over here. So identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod ID. And the name here is going to be pink underscore garnet. And then after the third closing parenthesis, I don't know if I've ever said third closing parenthesis, but there you go. We're going to do a zero and a zero and we have everything done. Now, the first thing you're going to be like, what the frick is all of this craziness? Well, the best place to start is press the shift key twice. And we're going to look at the armor materials class, armor materials. There you go from net Minecraft item. And we're going to find first and foremost over here, all of the different values that are basically inside of the armor materials for vanilla. This is probably going to be one of the best, if not the best absolute thing to take a look at because you can see basically you know the bootlegging chest plate helmet defense values over here as you can see for our for each of the different armor materials from vanilla so that is really freaking cool and you can also see what each of the things is right so you can see the number over here are 20 that was enchantability while the zero and the zero at the bottom here is toughness and knockback resistance respectively so that is how you basically create the armor material. And now it is just as easy as simply registering our items. So in our mod items class, we'll then have a public static final item. We're going to call this the pink underscore garnet underscore helmet equal to the register item method. This is going to be the pink underscore garnet underscore 
helmet, of course. And this is going to be a new armor item, passing in mod armor materials, mod armor materials dot pink garnet armor material. And this is of armor item of type helmet, the new item settings. And here we're going to say that the max damage is equal to armor item dot type dot helmet dot get max damage. And then we can define a multiplier over here. And that basically determines, okay, how good is this actually? So if I press shift twice again and go into the items method over here, and I want to look at, for example, the, let's just look at any helmet really, you can see that they get the max damage over here and then have a multiplier. So for example, chainmail here has a multiplier of 15. So that is basically what we're taking. But we can also see the iron helmet also has one of 15, where the diamond helmet has one of 33, for example, and the gold has a worse one and then netherite has 37. Of course, you can change that number to whatever you desire. This is, of course, just an example. So then duplicate the helmet three additional times to have, well, all of the other things, right? The chest plate. We, of course, want to change the name as well as the name inside of the string over here, very importantly. We then want to change the type over here. This is extremely important. So you want to change the name, the name, the type, and then here, the type as well. So there are four different well, things we need to change, right? We want to change this to leggings. We want to change this to leggings. We want to change this, crazy enough, also to leggings. And lastly, we want to change this to leggings too. And lastly, we got the boots. This is going to be the boots right here. And then it's going to be the boots right here. And it's going to be these boots, which are made for walking. I do say this. If I do say so myself, then there you go. And there we have all four different pieces of our armor added. Let's add it to the item group. That's going to be a good idea because otherwise, you know, that that's always one thing that's quite easy to forget because it's sort of like one of those things that's, you know, in theory, not strictly necessary. However, obviously, it makes it so much easier to basically take a look at them. And then we can go on to, first of all, do the assets. This includes the translation, which, you know, let's be honest, is going to be very, very straightforward here. And then the item textures as well. And those are two quite easy to do as we're simply copying those over and those are of course also available to you down below so no worries there at all you can see this is a bit of a show you can already see this however this is not the only item like the only textures that we need because wait a sec what about the model because you put on the armor obviously your player also has a model around it exactly so in the tutorial mod textures folder we're going to make a new directory called models Inside of there, another new directory called armor, making sure this is the American spelling, very important. Then I'll copy over the two PNGs. Once again, those are also available to you. We can actually take a look at them and you can see it's a little bit more fancy than the vanilla ones. And it's actually going to look pretty cool. But the general idea is that we have one layer that is for the head as well as the chest. And you have another layer that is for the leggings and the boots. Very importantly, that those two are named correctly. So pink underscore garnet or whatever the name is that you've given your mod armor material right here and right here, and then underscore layer underscore one, underscore layer underscore two. So if there's any issues, double check the spelling, double check that it is in the right folder. It has to be textures, models, armor, once again, in this exact setup. And then you should be good to go. With that done, we actually have all of these added. And the last thing that we now just need to do is we want to go to our data gen and we want to make the models generate. And the models that should generate are just a little bit different. So we want to say item model generator dot register armor. And then we want to make it so that mod items dot let's take the helmet. Then we have to do dot cast and cast this to a armor item. We can duplicate this four additional times. Do this for the chest plate. We can do this for the leggings. We can do this for the boots. And the reason why we need the register armor method right here is because when you have a an armor that is trimmable, then what you want it to do is you want it to change its item texture inside of the inventory. And that is why we need to do this, because if we actually go down here, we can see that they're basically go through all of the trim materials that exist and make sure that that is a thing. Because the way that they've done it is that they have like 12 different, um, I think 12 different item models for each of the different items, which is absolutely crazy. But that's just how it's going to go. The second thing we need to do to make our custom armor trimmable is we need to go to the item tag provider and we need to do call get or create item tag item tags dot trimmable armor trimmable armor. And we want to add all four of our items mod items dot. This is going to be the helmet first and then just duplicate this four additional times. And then we're going to have the chest plate, the leggings and lastly the boots. 
And now we can actually also trim this. If you don't add it to the trimville armor tag, it's not going to be, I don't think you can actually even put it into the smithing table. So that's actually how important this particular tag is. But with all of this done, we actually have done it. As crazy as it sounds, this is actually more straightforward than one might think, right? Like it's not that crazy. So first of all, let's run data gen over here. That's going to be the most important thing because you will see the, I don't even know how many JSON files are going to be generated, like 55 or something. It's going to be crazy. I'm telling you, it's actually so, it's insane how many JSON files are generated. Let's just take a look at this because I really want to know. There we go. With the power of editing, we can see 45 freaking JSON files written. And that is for one tiny, like one tiny thing, which is literally just a different texture inside of the inventory. I don't know why they did it like this, but it is what it is. That's going to be fine. And with this done, well, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, friends, I was back in Minecraft. As you can see, the armor has been successfully added and if I put it on. It looks absolutely freaking amazing, right? How cool is this? And of course, as promised, we can also put it in here and we can well, basically change it up, right? And get it like looking pretty freaking cool over here. Let's just, you know, why why not? Let's just like go on with all of this, except for the last one. We're going to use a different one over here. And if I were to now don this armor, oh, baby, let's go. Look at that. That is freaking cool as heck. I absolutely love it. And that is custom armor, even made trimmable. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll actually add a full armor effect. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.